Hi everyone. So, whatever level we're playing sim racing at, whether it be beginner, intermediate or advanced, there are five mistakes that we all make at some point. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you what those five mistakes are and hopefully help you to get faster at your sim racing. It would be great if you can press that subscribe button, it helps me to grow the channel. And do check out my other Assetto Corsa mod videos. Okay, let's jump in. Number five, driving too aggressively. So when we get into our best car and we get into the race, we jump in and we drive as fast as possible and we try and win the race as quickly as possible. That is not the way to drive in sim racing. We're taking no heed for the race in line. We're trying to overtake as many cars as possible and as soon as possible. And we're trying to win the race on the first lap. It's just not how you win races. Races are won by being consistent and having consistent lap times. And not only are you damaging your own car, but you're also damaging the other cars around you if you're hitting those cars. And if you are playing online, this can ruin all the fun for you and for the other people. The right way to drive is to learn your car's capability and to learn the limits that that car will drive on and then build your lap times up over a period of time. Remember, not only is there a damage model, but there's normally tire temperatures, wind direction and speed, there's weather, there's grip, there's wear and tear on the car, so all these need to be taken into account as well. Number four, driving two powerful cars. I know I'm guilty of this, so we get our new game, whatever sim racer it is, and we look through the cars and we find the fastest McLaren or the fastest Lamborghini, something that looks really cool, and we jump in and we try and play the game. And this is really, really tempting to do. And what it does is we're trying to attempt to win the race quickly or to learn a car that is way too powerful for our skill level. That we're not learning the correct racing lines, the correct braking points, the tyre limits. And these are different for every single car. And we're also not learning racing etiquette and correct overtaking. So my tip for when you get your new sim racing game is to start on front wheel drive cars less than 250 horsepower and just build up slowly and then learn to drive that car on its limits. Once you've done that, then move on to some of the more powerful four-wheel drive cars and then the rear-wheel drive cars. And if you're going to be driving cars that are 500 brake horsepower plus, that will give you the best opportunity to learn to drive those cars correctly when you've learned the track and the lower cars. Number three, racing line. Yes, I'm going to talk about the racing line. A big beginner mistake is to drive in the center of the road and to kind of play it safe and just make sure you stay on the track. We all know that the track's wide for a reason. So what we need to be doing is making sure that we use the racing line and learn the racing line. Use the curbs, make sure that we're building our speed up consistently and learning the track correctly. Once you can do this on some of the lower powered cars, you can then start to build up your speed on some of the higher powered cars. If you're not using the racing line or the track width correctly, there's only so fast your lap times will get. Number two, drive into your car's capability. This is a big one. Whether you're online or whether you're driving against the computer or you're in career mode, you are obviously trying to follow the cars in front of you in the race, but you cannot copy those cars. Normally those cars are different to yours and that means they'll have different grip, different power ratios and will handle completely differently going into the corners and coming out of corners. So the top tip here is to drive to your car's capability. If you're hitting your braking points, stay on your braking points, accelerate on the line that you believe you should be accelerating on and then you can race the race and make your overtaking maneuvers when they're appropriate. Number one, late braking into corners. We all do this. Whether it's in experience, whether we get excited, whether we're trying to push the car over its limits, whether we're just trying to get that one extra place on the last corner, we all late brake into corners. But the only time you should ever late brake into corners is when you're on an overtaking maneuver. Late braking into a corner on a front wheel drive car will give you tons of oversteer and you can see that on some of this gameplay. If you're in a rear wheel drive car or a four wheel drive car, it may make you lose control or lose stability going into that corner 
as you're changing the weight distribution on the car. What it will do is make you lose lap time. You will get no gain by late braking into a corner. So as I said earlier in the video, learn your braking points and get good at those braking points within the car's capability. Build up your speed slowly and your lap times will start to come down and that will be a consistent way to build your lap times. And remember, slow into the corners and fast out of the corners. So guys, that's my top five tips for getting better at sim racing. I hope they have helped. Do remember to check out my channel for more Assetto Corsa, BMNG and Wreckfest videos. Lots of new tutorials on there for Assetto Corsa. And do help me to grow the channel by clicking on that subscribe and that like button. If you've got any comments about the video, please do add them below. And I'll see you soon.